All right, just going to do a video showing yet more evidence against Calvinism and proving the scriptural doctrine of free will. So let's turn to the scriptures and prove that once again Calvinism is refuted in the life of the Israelites in the Old Testament. And how Calvinism is refuted by Israel acting against God's clear will in Leviticus chapter 18 verse 21. So what's my point? Well, first of all, God clearly commanded the Israelites not to sacrifice their children to Moloch or to false gods. Leviticus chapter 18 verse 21. And thou shalt not let any of thy seed pass through the fire to Moloch, neither shalt thou profane the name of thy God, I am the Lord. Leviticus chapter 20, verse 2. Again thou shalt say to the children of Israel, Whosoever he be of the children of Israel, or of the strangers that sojourn in Israel, that giveth any of his seed unto Moloch, he shall surely be put to death. The people of the land shall stone him with stones. So we have a death penalty there for child sacrifice, sacrificing babies to Moloch. So, we see that God's clear command and will, you know, is don't sacrifice your children to Moloch. And what's the punishment? Uh, stoning. That's simple. That's what God thinks of child sacrifice. Now, why does this refute Calvinism? Well, because Israel, later on in the Old Testament, clearly acted against the will and command of God, and they began sacrificing their children to Baal and to Moloch, against the clear command of God. God even says that it never even came into his mind that they would do such a wicked thing. Jeremiah chapter 7, verse 31. Jeremiah chapter 7, verse 31. And they have built the high places of Tophet, which is in the valley of the son of Hinnom, and burned to burn their sons and their daughters in the fire, which I commanded them not, neither came it into my heart. But by Calvinist logic, if everything, if man has no free will, God just has complete sovereignty and they twist the meaning of sovereignty as well uh how can you say that oh it never even came to my heart and again we see them acting against the will of god but according to calvinism i guess this is just oh it's just uh, the arminian free will much by the, by the way arminianism is also a false doctrine as well it's a false dichotomy not going to get too much into that but jeremiah chapter 19 verse 5 they built also the high places of Baal to burn their sons with fire for burnt offerings unto Baal, which I commanded not, nor spake it, neither came it into my mind. Jeremiah chapter 32, verse 35. And they built the high places of Baal, which are in the valley of the son of Hinnom, to cause their sons and their daughters to pass through the fire unto Moloch, which I commanded them not, neither came it into my mind that they should do, that they should do this abomination to cause Judah to sin. We clearly see them acting against the will of God. He said it not only not only was it against his commandments, he said it wouldn't even, didn't even come into his mind that they would do this this wicked act. It, it that alone just proves the free will of man and how man can act against the will of God and the command of God. Okay, so it's not it's not to try to downplay the fact that God controls, you know, that God has control, but you know. With free will, you're responsible for your own actions. You see, if Calvinism was correct, Israel could just say, "Well, God, you willed it. You know, everything's your will, so we we can't help it." It's that simple. Calvinism destroys any kind of personal accountability for your actions. But this, right here, God's telling them. He's basically pinning them, saying, "You know, you're doing this. I command you don't do this." But it didn't even come to my mind that you would do this. Calvinism is a false doctrine that attacks the. Uh, righteous judgment of God and also destroys any kind of personal accountability. So don't be deceived by Calvinism. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.